All birdie friendos, welcome in. So today's video, we are continuing our spin to win series where we started with gold trophy settings and are trying to get back to professional settings. And we earn those settings by correctly identifying ghosts. And in our last video, we died in our fun in our last game on Will Street. However, I got the ghost right and it wasn't like a guess. It was an educated guess. We guessed on or I guessed on Rio because it came into my room, blew out the candle, and then I relit it and wasn't able to hunt. But I did die, and I died while hiding in a not so safe hiding spot. But a lot of you commented and agreed that you think that I should earn a spin, which I appreciate. I think I will go and try to spin for a different setting, but I don't count Willow as having been conquered in this challenge. So we will go back and revisit Willow, not our first game. Our first game, we're going to do a big map, but we will go back and revisit Willow before the series is over. So I do want to actually beat that map at whatever settings we're at. So we're gonna go and spin for another setting. So I realized before we had, I didn't have hiding spots on the wheel, which hiding spots are set to none on gold trophy. And we would like to have at least some hiding spots, professional hiding spots. So I did add those. All right, let's go and spin and see what we're gonna get. I would love probably, okay, I was gonna say probably players. Okay, cursed object, that's actually really helpful. So in case, you know, we wanna lower our sanity, do some tests with the cursed object. Cause remember we have 100% sanity we actually can use cursed objects now uh i think as far as big maps go though we only have high school right and you guys think that i could do study mode restricted because we've done maple lodge have we done maple lodge Actually, we haven't done maple lodge have we do i want to do high school i almost kind of would rather do maple mm, let's do high school let's do high school okay high school for our first game let's also make sure that we add cursed items so it's gonna be a random cursed item Per usual Let's see one random okay to high school we go so our first game was off to a great start and yes i say first game because there are actually going to be quite a few and i'm going to just kind of compile them together trim down a little bit because it was about three hours worth of footage so i don't want to make you all sit through that but for our first game we got tarot cards okay we're almost back to the spot i'd probably say we've been walking around the dark for like three four minutes maybe just trying to get stuff set up I'm going to take off the goggles, though, to pull these because we can't see the color of the cards. So if we pull, like, a Wheel of Fortune card, I want to see if it's red or green. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Please don't be a hangman first card. Okay, tower. I, I think those are, like, kind of bugged right now. And they, I don't know, at least in my experience, they don't really increase activity. I was going to see if we could, like, hear it throwing something to see where it is. Okay, mood. Uh, I'm going to wait to pull any more cards. Okay, I did just hear the front door shut. Nothing so far, though. Wait, maybe? There was a dot over there for a second. Okay, I think I'm gonna pull another card after this hunt's over. Okay, hunt just ended. Just gotta be careful that I don't pull cards while the ghost is hunting, because it'll just all be fools. Let's see. Okay, so. Still no more sanity. Okay. <laughs> These cards. All right, I might wait a second because it could hunt. It's not hunting currently. Pulling a card. Oh, I think it... Wait. Okay, it's not hunting. Okay, so we got to get 25% sanity. Oh, okay, we're up to 50%. And this was my first mistake. So we pulled two Wheel of Fortune green cards, which got our sanity up to 50% from zero. I kind of like wasn't thinking about that. I, I wasn't thinking about the fact that we have 50% sanity, which comes into play for a certain ghost, and particularly their speed. Walk around a little bit. Only thing that's gonna be awkward here is if it's upstairs and it comes down the stairs. Oh, this is so bad. Okay. Um, I might be dead here. Please have mercy. No, no, oh, maybe, maybe. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. <laughs> okay. Well, not a thing. Not a rev. Not a phantom. Not a more. Okay, so not a thing. It was speeding up with line of sight, I'm fairly confident. So nothing that speeds up line of sight. This will be phantom. Not fast enough to be uh, Maroi. Well, actually, it was fast enough to be Maroi. So like I said, our sanity is at 50%. At 50%, a Maroi is going to sound like the slow twin, which at 150 speed, 
you don't quite notice it unless you've been, you know, playing a lot of 150 speed. And it wasn't until this hunt that I noticed that something weird was going on with this ghost speed. Okay, yeah, she just came around the corner. Okay, my breath is absolutely sabotaging me right now. Okay, I don't think Oni. Yo, she did get, like, really fast, though. Do I need a smudge again? I do indeed. Okay, I don't know if I survived this, so... Remember me? Yeah, she came from... Oh. She came from down... Or around the corner, I'm pretty sure. Yo, she's like really fast though. She's way faster than last time, right? <laughs> I cannot believe I survived that. Holy... Okay. I kind of want to listen to her speed. I want to listen to what her speed sounds. I really haven't got to listen to her speed. So I did like a little makeshift miling and raiju test there. I turned my walkie-talkie on. I could hear her footsteps from her walkie-talkie static. Um, I don't. She wasn't affecting my walkie-talkie from far away. I don't think this one have been Oni. Didn't see any shape shifts, so hopefully not a sneaky Obake. Yeah, man, we could test for yokai. Wait, okay. I think we need to hide. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know if we survived this. Ooh, we might. Could she be twins? Like, she kind of sounds slightly faster than 150, right? She might be twins. That was just like kind of my first time hearing her without any line of sight. Oh, so I can stop that. Okay. So I spent a really long time trying to test this twins theory. It was really hard to actually hear her because after these first couple hunts that she came over here and was running at me, she didn't come to the side of the map. Like I spent probably like 20 minutes walking around trying to find a safe spot to listen to her through the paramic and I just could not. I even spent like 10 minutes outside looking for twin interactions and never got any. And I still went twins. I'm just gonna be like one twin interaction on the board so I feel better about this. All right, so I did stick around for a little bit longer to see if I get any like confirmed twin interactions on the board and I'm not. I think I'm still gonna go twins. It's just like so unlucky that I, there isn't really a super safe spot for me to go to listen to the speed. Also case one, two, one, two, one. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, that, okay, so the reason I was thinking, I'm thinking twins is because like the first hunt when she was coming towards me, she didn't get that fast. But then the second, like the other couple times, she got like super duper, like way faster than she did the first hunt. So unless I heard it wrong, any other game, I could like, you know, just sit there and listen to the speed to see if I hear the twin speed, but I could not find a good spot to hear her speed. So, fingers crossed. Come on, Kelly. Oh no, it was a Maroi. So yeah, a pretty easy ghost to figure out, but I just made the big mistake of not being mindful of where my sanity was at whenever that first hunt happened. Honestly, that would make sense with how long. I cannot believe I missed a Maroi. With how long the smudge, they were ignoring me with the smudge a little bit longer, it helped me. That's probably why I got away so many times. Oh my god, I cannot believe we could not get close enough. To <laughs> oh, lucky. Yeah, almost an hour in that game. All right, we go again. You know what? No, actually, I get I get why that was a Maroi, why I thought it was twins. It's because the first time it hunted, we were at 50% sanity because we pulled two Wheel of Fortune green cards. I oh my god. That makes so much sense why I thought- Oh, um, I gotta- I gotta remember we don't have zero sanity. So yeah, lessons were learned this day. So in this next game, we got a monkey paw, and after getting the ghost to hunt and realizing it was a normal Nancy- Um... Uh, okay. Coming back in here? No, we're good, okay. I made the very smart decision to wish for knowledge. Honestly, I think at this point, we probably just wish for knowledge and guess and go. Since we have a monkey paw, I think we just wish for knowledge now and then see what we got. It's gonna be interesting trying to get out of here. Wishing for knowledge. <laughs> I think the night vision goggles goggle should help us. It's just gonna be awkward knowing when he's hunting and stuff. I wish for knowledge. Okay. I thought you 
hunt right, right next to me. Okay, I did cross out Banshee. So UV, we have Mare, Yuri, Onryo, Yokai. Ah, oh, man, I could have done a Yokai test too, but I didn't. So I decided to guess and go, and I was originally going to go with Yuri just because why not? I didn't really know what else it was. But as I was trying to leave, I was going to the front door and it started hunting. So I went to this pillar for comfort and safety. And we just sit here and hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> oh my God. In the arms of the angel. And it didn't like find me when I had my paramedic on. So I was like, ah, maybe I'll just go yokai just in case. And this is what it ended up being. Oh man, it was a Yuri when I first went with. I should have stuck with it. No. I then got a mare that I spent way too much time investigating. Like I did all the tests and it didn't, it wasn't any obvious ghost and it just ended up being a mare. Stinky mare. How many times did you mare? Yeah, that's what I thought. No times. I then decided to switch up strategies instead of like trying to do every single test on the ghost. I figured I would just go in, use the cursed item, see if it's any of the obvious ones and then just leave if it wasn't. And at first I thought it was working until this happened. Oh my god, my breath, stop. Oh, there he is. Ooh, way faster. I can grab my other smudge. Sit down. Welcome back. Like for bed. Oh. 16 different ghosts? Oh. Why can you have been a deal that hunt? So after about two and a half hours, I was pretty tired. I told myself, I'll just do one more game. And I'm so glad I did because it was definitely our best game yet. And this is what happened. And this game keeps giving me monkey paw. Why? I'm just hoping, praying one of these times we come out here and there's just bam, a twin interaction on the play. <laughs> best believe I'd be circling twins and leaving so fast. Okay, so the monkey paw this time, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wish for knowledge, or no, 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 no. I'm gonna wish for sanity, so the ghost will just hunt on its own and we can do a smudge timer right off the bat, instead of like wishing to trap it first hunt. That way, we can cross off, hopefully, a bunch of ghosts right away. I wish for sanity. Okay. 50% sanity! Alright. Actually, I can still hear and wait for the front door to shut. Go ahead and start a timer in case I'm waiting for a little bit. Might help us decide, like, possibly Shade or Dio if it takes a while. Okay, it did not take a while, so I don't think Shade or Dio. <laughs> Alright. We have two smudges and the will to live. Now we just need a ghost willing to tell us what it is. Where are you coming from, buddy? I like turn on my walkie-talkie. Oh my gosh, please. Please come over here. Huh. Pretty quiet on the homestead. No breath stop. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's Mary. Okay. You know, miling. Wait. Oh, the hunt. Hunt ended. <laughs> You get it? Okay. Well, no Miley. I can hear her footsteps before she got to me. Um, no Phantom. Definitely not a Dio. I don't think Shade because she hunted pretty quickly after we wished for 50% sanity. Didn't really hear her speed. I mean, I don't think she was a Thay. Don't think Raiju. She probably would have affected my radio from way farther away. Wait, what? Okay, that's a little weird. Why are you over there? Yeah, that's when I ride you. I got a motion sensor out there. We're gonna go back out. I mean, maybe Rave? I mean, maybe she just like hunted right after she like finished hunting? So weird. That's also kind of a quick hunt, right? Maybe Demon even? Can you come back downstairs? I'm ready this time. Are you already done? She is. Okay, um, I'm gonna bring this motion sensor in here with me. Although I think she came from upstairs, so if she's a banshee, she can't stalk me. Like, what might have happened is 
She finished her hunt? Oh, wait a second. When you wish for sanity, it does cause the ghost to change its favorite room. But why would she change it to all the way over here? Oh, I'm so confused. Like, she definitely wasn't over here before. So her favorite room's now the front? Oh, that's awkward. Can you come back downstairs and get my breast up? Existing. Press stop. Or are you already done? No, she's not done. Oh my god, I can't see. Are we actually living this? Oh my god, we did. We lived it. We lived it. Okay, um, quick salt check, salt check, salt check. No wraith. Drat. Okay. Um. She's, so she's right. This is her ghost room now. Whoa. Okay. Well. <laughs> Just gonna chill in here. See what the smudge timer looks like. So let's see. Yeah, definitely no race. Except in the salt. That doesn't have to be an oni. I didn't see a shape shift, so I want to say no obake. Normal speed. Definitely, oh, it's not a rev, sorry. Oops, didn't mean that. Like the game heard my prayers and just wants to go speak closer, so it literally put him right next to me. <laughs> oh, come on, he could be a demon. Or, oh, Lord. Um, okay, we do have a crucifix in here. Right? Okay. Alright, well, not a spirit. Um. <laughs> Oh, is that another event? Jesus. Okay, don't use this crucifix again, because I don't- Dude, what the heck? I'm gonna have to move if she uses the crucifix again. No, don't do it. Go back to your weird front entryway room. And we could definitely do a yokai test, if she's actually- this is her ghost room right next to me. Do a makeshift non-rio test as well. Did you change your room into here? Oh, oh no. That is bad news, bears, friends. Unless she's trying to tell me she's a banshee. Uh, okay, we're gonna try to get out. We're gonna go the long way, though. I hope for the best. That is crazy, though, right? She changed your room to over here? I've never had... A ghost, when I wish for sanity on a big map, change their room to so far away. Oh no, that's- okay, this is really bad, friends. Wish me luck. Remember me as I was, not as I am. Um, we're gonna try to go into that classroom whenever she comes back out. No, don't come back here. I have so much to live for. Globe, save me. No, don't do it. Stay out there. <gasps> it's over. Okay. Um, I kind of want to see the smush timers like, though. So I think we're going to go in the bathroom and probably regret it. Um, <laughs> so I want to save maybe possibly demon. Okay, no hunt yet. So she did kind of sound slower near like the end of her hunt too, right? Like she starts to sound like a little bit slower. Let's see. Oh, she has a demon. She's a demon. Unless I really botched that smudge timer. Hopefully I didn't botch her. I, I don't remember when I started it. I mean, that's way... I feel like I didn't start it like seven seconds early, right? Is she actually gonna let me leave though? That's the question. I need to like start heading out as soon as this light starts flickering. Hopefully we have enough time. Hopefully no mimic either. I think there actually might be a camera in the library or at least the front. We could check that. I mean, she's definitely acting like a demon for like a few months now. Hunting pretty frequently. Might start heading this way. Be kind, be kind, be kind. She's done. Can I, <laughs> can I get out the front door, please?
Oh my god, okay, we're out, we're out, we're out. Okay, okay. So unless Mimic, I'm fairly confident demon here. Unless I I remember looking over my smudge timer and see it running. Although I think it was I think I started it correctly. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck is with that room change though? That was crazy. Yeah, so in case you didn't know, when you wish for sanity, it puts your sanity at 50%, but also causes the ghost to change your favorite room. And she literally changed it to right next to me. So, I mean, yeah, what could have happened is as soon as the hunt ended, she decided to change her room, and because she was, like, had ended the hunt kind of near that room, like, the, the front door, she just changed it to there. We are going to check for orbs really quick, though, just to be safe. My 100% accurate mimic check. Right here. Okay, I think this, yeah, this is the first floor. No orbs there. On the gym. Is this the front? I think it is. Like the lobby where all the cursed items are. I don't see any there. Well, I didn't see any orbs, so. She's not allowed to be a mimic. We're going demon. Early hunt timer. I was hunting pretty frequently. Please, please, please. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. That was a spicy here. game. Through all the non identifiable ghosts and the sneaky Maroi that you baited me. Prevailed. Oh my god. So yeah, you. Oh, it's because the monkey ball. I was like, what is that? You used your ability four times. So maybe. I wonder if that was maybe the crucifix range and maybe like hunting 20 seconds instead of 25 seconds. And then obviously the smudge timer. Oh my god. All right. Well, that is all I have for you on this video. I've been recording for almost three hours now, so I think that's pretty fair. Um, we'll go and spin for what our next modifier is going to be in the next video. Hopefully we get some player speed, fingers crossed. But if you did find yourself enjoyed the video, please make sure to drop it a like. If you'd love to drop me a sub, good luck ghost hunting, and I will see you in the next one.